TIFU by losing my patient in elevator. I'm a nurse and I work in a hospital. Today I was taking my patient to a CT scan. She was in wheelchair and her mom was with us. I put her inside the elevator when my supervisor approached me to ask me something. The elevator doors closed and left with my patient inside. I was beyond mortified, looked to my supervisor and asked her what to do. But she was laughing so hard could barely talk and articulate me to run through the stairs. I ran as fast as possible to the floor where we were doing the CT scan but they weren't there. I ended up asking the security staff to help me looking for my patient. Everybody found it extremely amusing because they didn't understand how you lose a patient. They found them two floors below. Her mom was amused with the whole situation but my patient was very annoyed and asked for another nurse to escort her back to her room. TL. D or I lost my patient in elevator and the security staff has to help looking for her. Edit. A word. Edit too. I think I'm about to become a small legend at my hospital because even the administrative staff called to my station to ask if it is true I just randomly lost a patient in the elevator. Wow I thought this was going to be about the patient dying in the elevator lol phew. This made me laugh out loud. I cannot tell you the problems I ran into at my old place of work and the elevator. My favorite story. We ordered pizza. The delivery man was an older gentleman and used the elevator to get to our floor. The thing about this elevator is that you enter on one side and exit on the other. He called us at the office and said that he was stuck in the elevator. He sounded very distressed and my heart broke for him. We ran down the hallway only to see him facing the doors that he entered. He didn't see that the elevator doors on the other side were open. Which we saw home through. As we were running to him we called out to turn around but he kept on looking forward and to the ceiling. Confused as to where our voices were coming from. It was a funny story but I do feel bad because it was upsetting for him. It's scary to feel trapped. We tipped extra in cash. And he delivered all future pizzas using the stairs. Whenever possible we would meet him downstairs. I can't understand how anyone could get upset with that. You would have heard my laughing going down the elevator. Reminds me of Sophia on the Golden Girls when she gets left on an elevator. You know, I'm so used to people using patient to mean patients that I kept looking for when you lost your temper at people in an elevator. Lol. Title made me think patient died in elevator lol. Reminds me of when I worked at Radio Shack. My manager hadn't taught me the proper way to secure the store when I was alone and had to be in th. E back and I became a minor legend in the company by having a subwoofer shoplifted on my watch. I once got stuck in an elevator with hospital transport right after I had surgery. I don't do well with anesthesia. So the poor transport person had to hold an emesis basin so I could throw up until the elevator became unstuck some 30 minutes later. For a minute, I thought, lost, had a different meaning. I always knew CTs were scams. Ahem phrasing. Do nurses use to move patients around the building there? Where I live there's other personal for that. Her mom was amused with the whole situation but my patient was very annoyed and asked for another nurse to escort her back to her room. Sounds like the patient was dying to get there. Don't worry, this happened once to the golden girl's too smiley face. A it happens. I knew a security guard who got punched in the face by a point he was supposed to be guarding. Dude took off into the woods. 
That guard didn't live that shit down for a good long time. Edit. For quick clarification. Said PT was being escorted to smoke. Thus easy access to the nearby woods. I spent several years doing security in a hospital. This happens far more often than you might think. My mom was watching my two-year-old daughter in the lobby beside the elevator while I visited my great-grandmother in her room with my oldest. We were there for hours and kept taking turns in the room. She was playing. The doors opened. She bolted and they closed. My mom and her friend were horrified and my mom ran down the stairs stopping at every floor to see if it stopped there and her friend frantically pressed the button for it to come back. My mom found her four floors down walking out perfectly happy holding a random slightly shocked doctor's hand. They came back into my grandmother's room like nothing happened and after about an hour her friend ratted my mom out to me. I was not impressed lol. This is hilarious and refreshing. Thanks for not being another stupid totally true sex post. Something similar happened to me this summer. I was in a hospital bed with the transport lady and my one-to-one -one when the one-to-one -one stepped out of the elevator and too quickly the elevator doors closed. The transport lady ran and hit the door open button but the elevator door stopped partially closed. And the elevator wouldn't move. We start yelling and laughing to my one-to-one -one who is yelling, what the hell happened? And we're yelling that the elevator is stuck. Technically my one-to-one -one can't leave me so she's kinda panicking. Luckily only about five minutes later. Which felt like forever. The elevator doors opened back up. We definitely button smashed to make that happen. How do you lose a patient? Question mark. You forget to cherish them. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.